What's up, Finn fans? Just giving you a quick update, quick video, second day of the draft. The Dolphins just finished their third round pick, so the third round is still going on. Um, if they do try to trade back into the third, I'll make a video talking about that. But so far in the second round, they get Mike Gizeki, tight end from Penn State. I thought they were going to go for Geodart. Geodart was still there, um, but they get Mike Gizeki, and I was like, hmm, why did they go for him? And then I watched his highlight tape, and holy crap, this dude, if the ball is thrown to him in the end zone, he's going up and getting it. He's huge, huge frame. 6'6", 252 pounds, ran a 4.54 at the combine. Guy's in great shape. He's a freak athlete. He's humongous. Great for the red zone. Got crazy jumping skills. But here's the biggest problem with him. Um, and this is probably why he fell to the Dolphins in the second round. He's never lined up in line. And what that means is he's never lined up hand on the ground next to a tackle. He's always lined up in the slot. So essentially he is just not good at blocking. Like, uh, supposedly horrible at blocking. Like, the Dolphins essentially just drafted another slot receiver. I, d I don't know if that'll stick. I'm pretty sure this big, huge dude can learn how to block, especially if we have this good O-line coach teaching him how to block. So, <clears throat> I love the pick. We needed a tight end. We got a tight end. In the third round, we take Jerome Baker, linebacker. Now, a lot of people were like, who's this? And even I was like, who's this? Ohio State linebacker, guess who he played next to? The middle linebacker we drafted last year in the second round. He's fast, he's a good sideline to sideline player, can cover tight ends. The only knock on him I'm hearing is he's undersized. But it seems like the Dolphins are going faster on defense, um, which I could see why, because if you watch the defense last year, they got burned a lot, especially by tight ends. So having these fast linebackers on the field and this fast safety that we got, Fitzpatrick, this defense is going to be good. And then we got this tight end that you just throw the ball up and the dude's going to freaking jump up and catch it. You should see his freaking basketball highlight film. So far, I like what the Dolphins did in the second day. First day, we took a safety with that first pick great player fell to us super pumped so in the second day i was saying to myself and i'm saying to you guys we need a tight end and a linebacker what do the dolphins do they draft the tight end the best pass catching tight end in the league and the draft they get a linebacker may be undersized but he's fast and he's good so now will they trade back into the third uh, I would. I would take those two fours. I'd trade back into the third and get a defensive tackle the draft is going on right now they're on pick 83 in round three uh, so they possibly could trade back into the third and get a defensive tackle and if they do that then whatever they do after this I don't care I'll be happy with what they do um, maybe they get a running back or running back maybe <clears throat> maybe they get some O-line help uh, I feel like maybe they'll just stay pat and in the fourth round those two picks they'll pick up a running back maybe a quarterback Mike White is still on the board so if they pick up Mike White in the fourth, I'll be happy. If they pick a running back in the fourth, I'll be happy. And then with that six pick, take a kicker, and I'd be pumped. So far, this draft is going really well for the Dolphins. They're not messing things up, and it's making me super happy. So, so far, so good. Three picks, three awesome picks. I'm super happy. Some of you guys might have wanted a geo dart. Some of you guys in that first round might have wanted a quarterback, which I don't understand. It didn't make sense to me to take a quarterback there. Um, Especially if he's going to sit for two years, because Tannehill's going to start. But overall, super pumped about the three picks we got so far. All needs, all great players, all going to make this team way better. I'm liking what the Dolphins are doing. I will make another video tomorrow to wrap up the draft, talk about everything that's going on. So, so far, we got Mika Fitzpatrick, great pick. Mike Gazeki, great pick. Jerome Baker, great pick. So far, so good. I'll see you guys later. Fins up. Tomorrow is the draft. That's how the friends say draft. So I thought, being that tomorrow's the draft, let's break down each of the positions. Some of them are needs in the draft, some of them aren't. And see my thoughts on what the Dolphins will do. Will they either address it in the draft or will they do it after the draft? So let's get started.